Lesson 7. I will model mixed numbers to the hundreds in expanded form and on the place value chart. So we've been talking about how tenths and hundreds can relate to fractions. Now we're going to talk about how you can model a mixed number. Remember what a mixed number looks like. So a mixed number as a fraction would look like this. As a decimal, it would look like this. So we're going to talk about how you can model a mixed number actually to the hundredth. So it might be something more like this. And how we're going to be able to write that in expanded form and on the place value chart. Now in your math binder, I gave you a practice sheet that looks like a place value chart. It looks like this, only it's turned sideways. Okay, it doesn't have this number on it, but it does have this place value chart. I want you to find that. Now the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take a look at this place value chart. How does this place value chart look different than the place value charts that you're used to seeing? Well first of all, yours usually begins with ones, right? It goes ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. This one has a place for a decimal and then look, it has tenths and it has hundredths. I want you to write this number in the place value chart. See if you can figure where every place would go. Okay, hopefully you said, well, the three goes in the hundreds, the seven goes in the tens, the eight goes in the ones, and then we have seven tenths and three hundredths. Now this number was kind of easy because this has exactly five digits and there's exactly five places. But you're going to be able to work with this a little bit more when we get to our problem set, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at our problem set today. And you're going to notice that we have some number disk. After you put your name up here, let's go ahead and take a look at the directions. Write a decimal number sentence to identify the total value of the number, of the number disk. Okay, so we're going to write a decimal number sentence. So if I have two tens, that would be 20. Five tenths, that would be 0 0.5. Three hundredths would be 0 0.03. And then all together, I would have 20 tens or 20 and 53 hundredths. Okay, what does this remind you of? Expanded form? That's exactly what this is. This is expanded form like we're used to seeing it. The last time we had 2 times 10 and 5 times 1 tenth, but this is like what we're used to seeing expanded form look like. Okay, why don't you try to do this one all by yourself? Go ahead and pause the video and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you came up at least this far. Here's five hundredths. Here's four hundredths. Okay, now when I put this together, I have five hundred and four hundredths. All right, let's take a look at this place value chart. So this place value chart looks exactly like the one that we just put some digits in earlier. We're going to use the place value chart to answer the following questions. Express the value of the digit in unit form. Okay, so the digit blank is in the hundreds place. So when I look up here in the hundreds place I see 4. So if I'm going to express the value of this 4 in unit form I'm going to say 4 hundreds. The digit blank is in the tens place. So when I look up here, I see the digit one, and it has a value of one ten. I want you to try to do C and D all by yourself. Pause the video, and then let's come back to check together. Okay, hopefully you tried to do these by yourself. It says the digit blank is in the tenths place. When I look over here at the tenths, I see eight, and it has a value of eight tenths. And then it says the digit blank is in the hundredths place. So when I look at the chart, I see that three is in the hundredths place. And it has a value of three hundredths. Okay. All right. 
let's try another one. All right, I'd like for you to pause the video and try to do all four of these all by yourself and then come back and we're going to check together. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video and you do this by yourself. So hopefully for E, you put the digit 5 is in the hundreds place. It has a value of 5 hundredths. And the digit 3 is in the tens place. It has a value of 3 tens. The digit 1 is in the tens place. It has a value of 1 tenth. And the digit 6 is in the hundredths place. It has a value of 6 hundredths. Okay, so this was basically just find the digit in the place value chart. Okay, now we're going to talk about expanded form. And you can see here that they have the fractional notation. This is kind of like what we did before. I'm actually going to ask you, we're not going to do this. I think that we can do this without this notation and go right straight to this. So this is what we're going to do today. All right, so we're going to do one together, and then I'm going to have you do some of these by yourself. All right, so it says write each decimal as a, an equivalent fraction, then write each number in expanded form using both decimal and fraction notation. The first one has been done for you. So when I look at the first one, they said 15 and 43 hundredths. So here's how they wrote that as an equivalent fraction. And they went 110 plus 5 ones plus 4 tenths plus 3 hundredths. And they did that again in decimal form. 10 plus 5 plus 4 tenths plus three hundredths. Okay, now let's try one. So we've got 21, that's our whole number because it's before the decimal, and four tenths. So we're going to write that four tenths. So now in expanded form, that would be 20 plus one plus four tenths. In decimal form, 20 plus one plus four tenths. Okay? If you think that you can do the next one by yourself, go ahead and pause the video and do it by yourself. If not, go ahead and work through one more with me. All right, so I've got 38 and nine hundredths. So I'm going to write that just like I read it. 38 and nine hundredths. So now in expanded form, I have 30 plus 8 plus 9 hundredths. Okay, in decimal form, 30 plus 8 plus 9 hundredths. Okay, I want you to pause the video and try to do the next one all by yourself. And then let's come back and see how you do. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and you try to do this one by yourself. So let's walk through this one. So we've got 50 and 2 tenths. So that would be 50 plus 2 tenths. And as a decimal, 50 plus 2 tenths. Okay? All right, so let's try these last three here. So we've got 301 and 7 hundredths, and then we've got these last three. I want you to pause the video and try to do these all by yourself. The worst thing that happens is you get them wrong, and that's okay. It's really important that you stop and try to do it by yourself and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you tried to do these all by yourself, and let's just walk through these really quickly. So I have 301 and 7 hundredths. So that's the same thing as 300 plus 1 plus 7 hundredths which would be 300 plus 1 plus 7 hundredths. Now the next one was a little bit tricky. I want you to notice that it looks like 620 and 80 hundredths. And you definitely could, if you would have put 80 hundredths here, I wouldn't have counted it wrong. But you could have also said it was 620 and 8 tenths because notice the 8 is in the tenths place and there's nothing in the hundredths place. It's a 0, but that 0 has no value. No value. It's just like if you were to write this and say, okay, that is 5. It is 5, but it's still 5 with or without the 0. This is 8 tenths with or without the 0. Again, if you put 80 hundredths, I wouldn't count it wrong. All right, so 600 plus 20 plus 8 tenths or 80 hundredths, I would count that right. 600 plus 20 plus 8 tenths 
or if you went ahead and put the zero, I wouldn't count it wrong. Okay? All right, let's take a look at the next one. Eight hundred and eight hundredths. So notice the difference. Eight hundred, eight hundredths. So eight hundred plus eight hundredths, and then eight hundred plus eight hundredths. Pay really close attention. This zero has to be here. If you put 0 0.8, that would be wrong. This has to have the zero because this is 8 tenths. This is what makes it 8 hundredths, that extra zero. Okay, so today we spent some time talking about how you can write mixed numbers in decimal form to the hundredths in expanded form and on the place value chart. And we will continue this discussion in the next lesson.